This one is for my uh, kid I grew up with. Uh, me and my brother went to uh, school with him and uh, went to Christian camp with him back when we were younger, staying at my grandma's house, probably second grade or something. Second and third grade, he was uh, killed in a drunk driving accident. Jehovah on the beat. Tattoos were once seen as a sign of rebellion. Gang members, convicts, and lifers in the joint got tattoos. Sailors, circus freaks, and rock and rollers had tattoos. But now you can't leave home without seeing some ink. You have a lot of tattoos. <laughs> how many do you have? I don't know. Really? You don't know how many? Honestly, no. And like, what's the what's the impetus to get one? Like, do you just go, hey, I want another thing on me? It's just b b based on, uh, you know, various experiences that you go through in your uh -huh. life. I've always felt that the, the, the body is kind of a journal in a way, you know? Right. What about just a regular journal? What about just... Why do you like tattoos? Um, I think everybody's, you know, got a way of expressing their feelings, and, and mine is through, through my tattoos. It's all around us. Many tattoos at first were to serve as a rite of passage, a mark of status and rank, protection, or they were used to mark outcasts, slaves, and convicts. It's hard to think back, but tattoos were once illegal. Times have changed. So how did tattoos transition from this bad stigma? And how did tattoos evolve from a stamp or a mark to a visual art form and an expression within? It's definitely more accepted nowadays. I mean, I mean, you can't go anywhere without seeing somebody with a tattoo. Everything's changed down to the ink, to the machines, everything. I mean, it's gonna continue to evolve. That's just how it is. So how did it evolve? America is a melting pot for so many cultures. Not surprising that American tattoos also have roots in many different cultures. Tattoos have caught on to our society and they're here to stay. Tattoos are really just now evolving. Think about back in the day. Now, tattoos have evolved from a flash picture or cartoony 2D stamp to a detailed masterpiece. Within the past 50 years, the attention to detail and artistry have grown tremendously. With the evolving technology and different techniques and styles being shared and traded, tattoos evolved rapidly. Tattoo shops started popping up little by little and the rise and spread of its popularity grew. The first tattoo convention was held in 1979 in Denver, Colorado. People's styles and ideas were shared and respected. Within each city, there came a different subculture, different people, different types of tattoos and styles. That's how it grew so fast. Ladies and gentlemen, rock and roll. The premiere of MTV in 1981 opened the window and showed viewers that rock and roll culture, spreading it even more. My yeah. brother, my older brother in high school when he turned 18, he had a tattoo it was of like a soccer ball, a small soccer ball. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I don't know, I just really looked up to him even though it was a small, simple soccer ball. I wanted to get a tattoo. So. Yeah, it was yeah. on from there. <laughs> yeah, so it kicked me off right there. Thing. As soon as I turned 18, I got a tattoo. I mean, and ever since then, I've just been addicted to it. 
Twos are more mainstream, so it's not really like that anymore. Everybody's got them. So that negativity is sort of fading away anyway. So. Well, Mexican, uh, a Mexican from Texas pretty much did all this work, so. I mean, you can sort of tell. I mean, it makes me feel great. I just love ink, so. I mean, I like everything about it. I like the look of it. You know, the, it's just different. I don't know how else to describe it. So. Tattoos now are regarded as a very popular art form. It has become a mainstream part of Western fashion among both sexes, to all economic classes and all age groups. People seem to, they really appreciate it. You know, I was sitting next to a lady, for instance, the other day um, on an airplane, and she looked at my tattoo, and she's like, wow, that's, that's one of the prettiest tattoos I've ever seen. And they're always asking questions. People are constantly asking, how bad did that hurt? It's the number one thing I hear in my life. How bad did that hurt? Every day. Um, the one on your throat. The one on my throat, yeah, definitely is, is yes. one that they ask about all the time. And yes, it, it hurt really bad. Since its time in the shadows and hidden under clothes and sleeves, it has evolved and undergone a dramatic redefinition. It shifted from being a form of deviance to an acceptable form of expression. I'm a singer, so I got this one. Yep. And underneath the microphone is a banner that's got the notes to Hurt by Nine Inch Nails. It's the last part of the song, and I'm sure anyone who's ever been lost can relate. It's if I could start again a million miles away, I would keep myself and I would find a way. My favorite tattoo that I have is the one on my hand. Um, it's an Indian play bracelet and it represents eternal love. And I really like it because I've always wanted um, a sleep bracelet, but I, I break things a lot and I lose things. So I had them, you know, just put it on permanent. Tattoos have evolved into a very personal and always, for the most part, have a deeper meaning. This one right here is for like a second mother to me who committed suicide in um, 2008. Rest in peace to her. My ribs. This is my, my little girl, my baby. My pride, Natalie Ann Webb. Just three years old. I gotta get that colored in too. It really hurt. Would be one for my grandma who passed away from lung cancer. Her name was Mary Sue. That's That is your grandma. Yeah, she was a good lady. She helped raise me when my parents were at work. I spent a lot of time over there growing up. And she just helped me out with a lot of things. and It was tough when she passed away, so I had a good memory. And this one right here is for uh, my niece. Her name's Brooklyn. She lives in Texas. Brooklyn. She has a uh, spina bifida. What you got over That's here? That's me. That's Vizzy. I did that one a long time ago. That's me. <laughs> for me, uh, my mom passed away in 2011, so I got this right here, if you can see it. It's my mom and my sister. And then it says my beloved with the filigree. I don't really like doing stuff just picked off the wall. It's kind of boring. Yeah. I'd rather come up with something for somebody and you know, it's kind of personal. But yeah, yeah. you know, everybody has their style and people know what they want. Some people don't, but that's just, you know. Tattoos tell that story of where that person was. They express where they've been, who they are, a lot of people wear them as a badge of honor, a reminder, to show their heritage, loved ones, dates, symbols. But it's not what they're tattooing that matters, it's the meaning behind them. They are a window into that person's mind. It's not something you just put on, tattoos are so much more.